Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here with Asheville Vending Services and this is going to be a quick video showing you guys how to set up your products map in NIAX. You can see I've got four selected machines, so I'm going to click on Operations. Once you're in that, click right down here on Machines and then we're going to move on to the next step. So basically, once this screen loads up, you'll notice in the blue column there's going to be a search bar. So you don't have to worry about any of the other information as far as operator, view by, status. Just click on the search button only. So skip all of this information. So right here on the left side of my screen, you'll see the four machines that I've got connected pulling up. And that's the one that you'll have. So if you just have one machine, you'll just see one there. Uh, so we'll click on one here and it's going to load up the main page for it. And really the only thing I use this for is this products map. So here's where it's located. You'll just want to click on that to get access to it and then you're gonna to have to set this up on your own. So basically you can see all my products that named here um, for the different chips, ruffles, drinks, different things like that. But the other important thing here is the MDB codes. You're gonna to wanna to do that first. I've got another video showing you how to get those um, off of your machine, but they basically go in order um, in different increments. So you, they basically, on your map here, you wanna start from the top left of your machine to the bottom right. Um, and if you wanna make any changes, change it here. Click off the screen and click save. Um, this app's kind of finicky as far as saving for some reason. You'll see here I've got ruffles with two dots. That's because uh, if I was to actually just change it to ruffles, because I've got that somewhere else in another machine, and I attempt to save it, it's going to ask me for a unique name. So it's definitely kind of a, a bug. I hope they're going to work that out eventually. So you just make a couple of dots in there so it's unique. Um, so it's not something that I've got in another machine. It's going to ask, do you want to save? Click yes, and then that's going to update it. Uh, you'll see it's completed successfully, but it kicks you back out to the main screen. So you got to go back to products map, uh, but I would highly suggest uh, clicking off the screen and saving after every option. I went down before and done a whole bunch and then saved it and then have a bunch of errors come in for some reason. You can change the product group here. I really just kind of keep it between drinks and snacks. Uh, this machine here is a combination machine, so it's got both. And another important thing here is going to be your par value. This is where you'll set that up. So in this example, Ruffles has eight slots in the machine. So my par is going to be eight. And that way when I'm within the app, I'll know exactly how many is on hand. So if they bought four, it'll say there's four on hand, but the par is eight. So you'll know how many you'll need to have to fill it up. But again, once you've got your MDB codes, you'll want to put those in here and like basically ascending fashion. So smallest to biggest, it's going to go from the top left of your machine to the bottom right in order. And then you can just name your, your, you know, products as you put them in. You can adjust these columns, do some different things in here, um, name your prices if you want. But I really hope this video helps you guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks.